Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine and I like to read dark and disturbing things and today I have my March TBR for you. <laughs> why I have a little visitor here and that is because I went and got my hair cut and she was alone for a couple hours and she is feeling very sad that I was not spending time with her so she's been it's been a little bit hard to get her to leave my side but uh so yeah she might be in the video a little bit that's Sprocket and if you like my hair curly cool but you'll probably never see it again because I don't know how to do girl things. I don't know how to do this. Um, and every time I go to get my hair cut, she curls it and does all this stuff to it that I'll never be able to do. So that is why it looks like that. All right, so like I said, um, we're just gonna have a really relaxed TBR this month. And we'll just hang out and talk about what I have on the docket for March. So starting in February, I decided to start cutting back on the amount of like book clubs I was um, participating in and things like that just because I was not mood reading enough and so I'm going to start limiting myself to four books a month that's one book a week where I've like already um, decided what I'm going to read and I'm going to let the rest of the month kind of happen naturally I do have an idea for like a themed reading vlog that I would like to do so I'm not going to really talk about that now We'll just see if it can happen organically. So what I have here, I have my four book picks and then just a couple of possibilities. So uh, this will probably be a pretty quick video. The first book I am going to be reading, I am very excited about because I have been wanting to read more by this author. And that is The Damnation Game by Clive Barker. This is in Kelly and Crystal's uh, Death by TBR Book Club, um, Kelly from Kelly Hooked on Books, and Crystal from Fiber, Fiber Artsy. I will link everybody down below. And I saw that this was their pick for the month, and I was really excited because I bought this last year and I haven't read it yet. I have been wanting to read more Clive Barker, and this is a perfect, perfect time to do that. Do I know what it's about? No, I don't. And I, I'm just going to go in not knowing anything because that's how I do. The next book I am going to read is going to be a buddy read with Ellie from over at Bibbidi Bobbidi Books. I just love saying that channel name. It's very fun. And that is Brahms, The Child Thief. I have read two books by Brahm. I have read I have read Krampus and I've read Slewfoot and I enjoyed them both. And all of his books, man, even the back has beautiful art. And he illustrates his own drawings in here. So his, oh, I don't think I can show that. Okay. So he does his own drawings, which I absolutely love. This is supposed to be some kind of Peter Pan retelling or Peter Pan inspired book. And I'm excited to get to it. And when I saw that, that Ellie was also wanting to read this. We decided to do a buddy read, so that should be a lot of, that should be a fun time. All right, number three is my Richard Lehman book of the month. If you are following along, Kelsey from Simon Slashers is doing a year of Lehman, and I decided to jump in on that, and every month we're reading a different Lehman book. So for March, we are all reading Flesh. I think this is the one that is gonna turn things around uh, for me reading Lehman fingers crossed. Um, I don't actually own this, a physical copy of this book, but it is available on Everand and it is also available on KU if you have that. And I don't know if you could see in the picture, but there are like some quotes on the front, some blurbs from people. And the first one says, let me see if I can read this right. I didn't completely loathe this book. Not bad. That's by um, Andrew from It Came From The Page. And the other quote is, it's only 89% trash. That was a quote from Mrs. Lehman, Richard Lehman's mother. So I think that's pretty positive. I think that means that we're really all gonna enjoy this book. Do I know what it's about? It's called Flesh. 
and it's a Richard Lehman book. So there's always a lot of flesh. There's always a lot of talk about flesh and bodies and rumps and what have you, jahoobies <laughs> in Richard Lehman books. So when it comes right out and calls it flesh, I can only imagine what's inside. And for my fourth book that I'm going to be reading, we get to spin the wheel. Sorry, Sprocket. So what I have done with the 12 books that I'd like to read this year, I have been putting them on the wheel, spinning the wheel and reading whichever one I got. So in January, I had Yellow Face, I did read it. February, I had uh, Strange the Dreamer and I did read it. So since this seems to be working for me, uh, actually putting it on my TBR and not just hoping that I will miraculously read these books, um, I'm going to give it a go and I have pretty much on the, because there's 12 spots on here. I don't know if you could see, I'm so far away. I feel like I'm so far away now. But um, the ones that I, oh, that's making her nervous. <laughs> the ones that I have already read, I just put question marks. So I guess if I get that, I haven't really even thought of a thing. I think if I get that, what I'll do is I will just get to pick which one I'm going to read. So let's spin the wheel. Sorry, girl. Oh, it's a good thing we talked about it because I got the question mark, which means I can pick any of these books. And the ones that I have here on here is The Haunting of Alejandra, The Last Housewife, Babel, Blackmouth, Hellbent, Children of Chicago, Gideon the Ninth, The Once and Future Witches, The Witcher, and Betty. Hmm. So do I pick one? Do I pick one now? Do I let you guys pick it? That's a good question. The ones that I am probably leaning towards are Betty and Gideon the Ninth. Those are the ones I'm kind of feeling right now. So I'll probably read one of those, but if you have a suggestion out of all of those that you think I should read, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know which one you would you would pick. I did also put a hold on Kelsey's book club pick for, for her book club and that is Knock Knock Open Wide by Neil Sharpson. I put a hold on it. I don't know if I will get it in time. So the, the fate of this one is in the library's hands. The other thing that we have going on in March is the Week of Weird, and that takes place from March 17th to March 23rd. That is hosted by Crystal at Fiber Artsy and Jason from Jason's Weird Reads. I did participate in this the last couple times they've done this, and I had a good time. So what I did, since I'm trying to read what I own, is I looked through the books on my shelf to see what I thought might fit the week of weird. And some of these, maybe I'm completely off since I don't know 100% what they're about. So you, you can let me know, but here's what I've pulled. I pulled Wild Spaces. I mean, it has tentacles on it. If this isn't weird, if, if there's like tentacles on a book and the book is not weird, then that is not my fault. This one, I'm not sure. I've heard great things about this book, but I don't know if it would be considered weird. But when I see this picture on the front, I got to think that there's something weird going on in this book. So what the? This is The Heart by David Sattergren. And this would be my first time reading from this author. And I have heard excellent things about his writing. The next two are just because... <laughs> um, so I have read Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke by Eric LaRocca and it was freaking weird. I honestly, that's all I've read by him, but I think anything that he writes probably falls into that category of weird. So this particular copy that I got says, and other misfortunes. So I think there's a couple other short stories in here. I thought I should read those. I might even end up rereading Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoken. That was something I read in one sitting before. And I also have Everything the Darkness Eats by him. So I thought these are good options just to have around. And lastly, 
This is one I'm not sure if it would be considered weird, but it seems kind of weird to me. And that's Chlorine by Jade Song. Um, I forget whose channel I saw this on that made me instantly like put this in my mental TBR and then I picked it up when I found a copy um, at Half Price Books or Book Outlet, one of those. Um, so I've heard great things about this. I don't fully know what it's about, but I'm getting weird vibes from it. I could be completely wrong and maybe it's not weird at all. So those are the books I have kind of just floating around. And then one more book I do have. So um, I know I'm doing the Read What You Own Challenge. This was something I had pre-ordered before I started that challenge. So I guess I kind of cheated, but I don't usually pre-order books. And this one I had to, and that is S.T. Gibson's new book, An Education in Malice, because I read A Dowry of Blood and it was, it was in my top, three books last year. I absolutely love that book. This one has deckled edges, which I love. I don't know why. It Texturally, I just love turning the page when it's, when they're all kind of different. Um, anywho, this is supposed to be a retelling or inspired by Carmilla, um, which is a vampire story that predates Dracula. Um, I did read Carmilla last year and I didn't love it. I appreciated it for what it did at that time, but I really wanted more. And I know just in that time period, that was even kind of pushing it. So I'm really hoping that this delivers in what I wanted that to be for me in this time period. <laughs> I just, I loved the idea. I loved everything all the vibes but I just really wanted to explore things more and not be so vague so I'm hoping that's what this is. There is another readathon going on um, in Andrew's Patreon, Andrew from It Came From The Page and it is a grim dark based read-along and I am hoping that I can find something that I that will fit some of those prompts to read for that as well. I'm trying to take it easy this month because I know there's some readathons in April that are going to be pretty all consuming and I am going to be busy. And so I want to be prepared. I want to just relax and enjoy and just pick up whatever I feel like picking up for the most part. And I think that is kind of working for me right now. So you'll have to let me know. Have you read any of these books? Did you like any of them? Did you dislike any of them? Any of those weird ones that you read that you are like, yes, you absolutely have to read it. Let me know. I'm going to spend some quality time with this girl over here now because she's sad and we don't want that. So maybe a little reading and a snooze for her. You say bye. I miss you. All right, we're gonna go have some quality time. Some girl time? Yeah. Yeah. She's also sad because we ran out of T-R-E-A-T-S. And uh, it's just, I'm an awful parent. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay spooky.